another Saturday. Got myself a, a new toy this week. Picked this up from a, from a mechanic guy in St. Paul. He restored it. And uh, whole heister forklift. She should. Uh, this thing should be able to really help me out with some of the heavier items, like the uh, the hood. And I wanted to take the radiator off. Get it all given a once over. Uh, I got the power divider out. Of course, put the sleeper on. So this will, uh, this will help a lot. I uh, need a new seat though. For whatever reason, he didn't, uh, he didn't replace the seat. So I'll put a Prince Auto get one of those. But it runs pretty good. He put a new head gasket on it. He did a bunch of work. New muffler, painted it up. So I was uh, pretty pleased with this purchase. And I looked up Heister. It's actually an American company. And Started in the 30s, and they used to say uh, hoister when they lift up the logs in Oregon. So the guy started the company based off of that name. I thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, so yeah, new toy. I uh, probably need some chains or something on the. Uh, the thread's not very good here. Probably need either chains or maybe some studs. I'm not sure if chains will fit in the gap here, but I'm going to need something to, uh, to wheel around on the snow ice around the truck so but anyway another Saturday here I got some uh, some smaller 316th line um, so this is for some of the smaller lines like the actuator for the power divider and in some other places I couldn't I couldn't just use this uh, the big trees everywhere so that's why I got a got a roll of that and picked up what trucks and had left and continue with the airlines that's the plan for the day the forecast is calling for about 10 centimeters of snow, so we'll see how far I get. I am going to turn my furnace on right away so I can stay warm and, and get working here. So we'll see how far I get. These guys are a little different, so you just basically screw this, this uh, half of the piece on backwards onto the line. And you just take this guy and tighten her down. But I was warned, you don't want to tighten this too much because you'll, you'll break that right off. But that's basically it, you just tighten that guy all the way down. And then we've got a nice connector on the end, just like this. Pretty slick. All right, so still picking away at it. I just ran this guy. Ran a fresh line, and it's another one that goes up under the treadle. So just one at a time. This is a very, I guess, relaxing task. It's not hard, but it's just a time consumer running one line at a time. But making progress. Of course, here comes the snow now, so. I guess it's better than wind and rain. Just keep going. Hey, it's really snowing now, but I got all the lines terminated, so I've got some, uh, some shock air going through the, uh, the alcohol vaporizer. And there was a couple small leaks that I just had to temporarily patch uh, for the air seats and then the air horn. But I don't hear any leaks coming up from, uh, from these tanks. Close the valves off. <laughs> Yeah, it's building air. Close these ones off too. So we got air in the tanks. Let's go, uh, my fire's burning down. Let's go see if the airbags are gonna work. I don't hear anything, but I do hear it. Oh, look at that. We've got some air suspension. Look at her eyes. Oh. Well, I must have done something right. Look at that. We've got air in the bags. Good stuff. <laughs> Look at those. Perfect. I don't hear any leaks. Like I say, must have done something right. So I think that's gonna be it for this Saturday. At least we got air in it now, so making some progress.
All right, continuing to grind away on the old girl. Uh, this morning's about, I don't know, minus 18, I think minus 20 something with the wind chill. Got my furnace going, swept up all the snow, and now I'm gonna start going on the inside here. So I'm gonna try and get the wind chill wipers working today. Got the, the new actuators from Dirks. I'm gonna put them in here and then we'll air up and, uh, and see what happens. See if we can get that going. Okay, so I plumbed in one of the new, uh, one of the new actuators and then I put the new uh, wiper blade on there. So we'll, we'll give her a try here. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. Whoa. Just like new. Let's try the other side. Oh, look at that. Right on. So I stopped at a local auto wrecker, Snags, just east of uh, Edmonton. And uh, I guess the, the old fellow that uh, used to run the place, he actually just passed away. So they're scrapping everything. Uh, I got in there about two weeks too late. So most of the good stuff has already been gone or snapped up or being scrapped. So I saw this cool old glitter steering wheel. I just had to have it. He actually gave it to me for free. So I thought that was kind of cool, but it's a shame it's not blue uh, to match the, the shifter knobs. So I just threw it on here for uh, for fun. But if anyone's interested in a in an old gold glitter steering wheel. All right, so this Saturday has been unusually warm. So I got tired of looking at the rust on this fender. I mentioned in earlier videos that I'm gonna have new fenders, but I think when I take the truck in next year to get all the body work done, I'll drop those new fenders off and uh, get them installed by the professionals. So I've just been working on, I did the fiberglass, uh, sandblast it, then I fiberglass, and now I'm just doing a thin layer of Bondo, still sanding it, and then I'll prime it so at least it looks decent. Uh, what else? So I've run some air, and air it up to full pressure. And I got the windshield wiper knobs mounted. So we have windshield wipers. That works actually pretty good. And they seal up. I don't hear any leaks. And we're holding pressure at 90. Look at that. Park bricks, or take off the park. And she's holding air real nice. Don't hear any leaks. So again, must have done something right. And what else? So yeah, changed a few extra lines. Um, I tried to get my forklift going, but as you can see, literally you could play hockey on that. So. Uh, I still don't have chains for my forklift and I figured rather than trying to monkey around and sliding around on the ice and maybe do damage to the truck, I figured, you know what, maybe I'll just park the forklift to the spring and do the rest of the work then, pulling out the, uh, the differential and the power divider. And so yeah, don't hear any leaks back here as well. So it shows, you do one line at a time and you, you close it off properly with some pipe dope. You, uh, should uh, should be laughing. So what else? Still waiting on my bands. I'm getting them made. Um, it's nice seven inch wide bands. I did get my tanks back from the polishers. They look fantastic. Uh, they're in my other garage, so I'll let me stop the video and then uh, give a quick little peek at those, but they're like mirrors. I'm actually quite worried on how I'm gonna get them mounted on the saddles without uh, scratching or scuffing them so that's going to be uh that's going to be a fun project i'll likely put on the driver's side tank and then i can uh, run new fuel lines uh, feed and return and then i can at least run the truck and since i'll be mounting the sleeper from the passenger side i'll likely uh, leave that tank off and mount the sleeper uh, just because that's my brand new tank it's worth a lot of money and i wouldn't want to ding it up or uh, drive the forklift into it. So I'll probably put the sleeper on from the passenger side and then uh, just sneak underneath and tuck that other tank on. Still waiting for exhaust. Uh, trying to get Lesco distributor says he might have some picket elbows 
that were slightly damaged that he'll give to me for a pretty good price. So I'll wait to see if I can get my hands on those and then just run some 8-inch stacks all the way up. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Advisor, I'm not sure on. There was a, a great video posted on YouTube uh, a couple about a week ago. And it's unbelievable. It's already got a million views. But uh, he found this old, I think it's a 70, 77 sitting in a field. And he fired it up. It's got a little Cummins in it and he actually drove it away. So go look for that one on YouTube. But just a fantastic video. But the visor was a little smaller. It's original. And it kind of tucks down lower. And boy, I'd sure like to get my hands on one of those. This one, I just, I think this one belongs more on a, it, it's made for this truck. It is a 359 visor, but uh, I think it would look better on like a 379. So we'll see. I'll get the sleeper on, get the lights up top and the horns and uh, make my judgment call then. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the, uh, the update for this Saturday. I'll maybe go and uh, sneak a peek at those uh, new tanks. All right, so here's the tanks all polished up. I mean, look at the, you can see, you can see the total reflection. It's incredible. So that's what they started as. Uh, they'd only polish to the seam and then uh, that's underneath anyway, you're never gonna see that. But just an incredible job. Looked like mirrors. Um, so this was the, uh, the old tank. Um, as you can see, there's still some corrosion there that they couldn't polish out. But that's why I'm gonna go with the nice uh, seven inch wide bands. I think that'll cover most of that up. So this was the uh, this was the used one, obviously, and then this was the new one that I had polished. So look at this, just absolutely incredible, complete mirror. Um, still need to get the uh, the pickups and the uh, the stovepipe and the fittings for that, but these are just so fantastic. I don't can't say enough good things about the. Uh, bling bling polishers that just shine it incredible job Stefan did um, really concerned about how I'm gonna get this tank mounted without actually dinging it up because it's just so beautiful uh, but I'm sure I'll figure it out there's my bike that I can't ride this time of year um, but yeah so we'll get these on put this one on when I get those new bands and I'll uh, I'll do a video of that and so I wanted to get my forklift going, uh, but unfortunately, it's just too darn icy. Uh, I don't want to be sliding around. So I'll either wait till we get some snowpack on here uh, or wait till spring. But I tried to, uh, these are solid tires. So I tried to do some screws, old school studs, but I still couldn't get it out of here. So I'm gonna have to wait or get myself some tire chains. That's that's it I think for uh, for this video little by little